Welcome back to the channel everybody. So I'm back over the storage yard today. I've got a couple of jobs. I need to A, check what's happening with the crack to see if that's got any worse or if that's still okay. I need to find out if I can diagnose what the issue is with my motor mover. So it functions perfectly, but it has got that clicking sound, which I showed you in one of the previous videos. So I didn't want to try and work out what that is. Um, and then, yeah, I actually need to collect the van today anyway, because, uh, yeah, we're going to go away next weekend. So, um, yeah, just a couple of things just to sort out today. And, um, yeah, we'll get cracking and see how we get on. So with regards to the crack to the front sunroof in uh, a previous video, obviously I showed you how I've repaired that for a short term fix. So obviously I drilled it out, put some silicon in the crack um, just to, whilst I source another window. And um, yeah, I can say successfully that's been really good. That's, I've had no issues with that. Obviously, just before I did that, we did a trip down to Cornwall, uh, sort of like a five hour journey. Um, and. I, <laughs> just happened to be in the rain unfortunately but um, yeah it was a good test but when we got down there yeah no issues in terms of any water ingress into the actual main window um, no additional cracking to that either so um, yeah drilling those two holes at the top and the rear actually of the crack obviously has stopped that from spreading and the silicon has played its job in terms of allowing it to flex but also give, give it that barrier uh, to stop any uh, ingress of water which was obviously the idea of that in the first place so um, yeah I'll show you the window quickly just so you can have a quick look of how it's held up so there it is still and um, yeah hasn't changed since you last saw it um, yeah doing what it needs to be But it seems to be holding up just fine at the moment but um, I will just need to keep checking on it so yeah if you do have that crack appear in your your sunroof of your caravan I can recommend that sort of fix um, obviously it is only short term whilst you get it replaced um, but um, yeah it's certainly uh, not visually sort of impacting on the caravan it hasn't got lots of gaffer tape duct tape or something along those lines so um, yeah, like I say, it always depends on the situation you're in and where you are and what tools and materials that you have. But um, yeah, if you've got the time, that works. So um, yeah, have a little look. Right, we'll move on to the motor mover issue. So I'm not sure if you remember, in one of my previous videos, I showed you that this side had a clicking sound when um, moving the caravan didn't actually stop it and it still functions perfectly fine um, there's no sort of uh, difference in terms of uh, when it's moving forwards or backwards in terms of it actually performing it doesn't go at different speeds but there is a, a noticeable clicking sound um, but it's not when you've got it disengaged at, at the moment like this so if I working perfectly fine um, and in one of the comments um, someone spoke about the bearing actually in this silver part here um, so what I'm going to quickly do to see if that is the case uh, I'm just going to take these bolts out and actually swap this one for the one on the opposite side and see if the clicking sound then transfers um, but um, hopefully that will give me the indication whether it's the bearing and there's only one in this so the other side of this silver bit is a cross hatch bit which then connects into the actual drive motor so there is only a bearing on the outside but at least that will tell me whether it's that once it's under load or if it's something else with the gearing of the motor mover itself once it's engaged but um, yeah what we'll do is we'll get this uh, out and uh, transferred onto the other side and see what happens so just before I do transfer this across I'll just show the the problem that I had or have um, and uh, yeah so you can clearly hear that clicking sound um, and when I've sort of moved this forwards before and just had my fingers here obviously the the knocking is going to transfer into this metal casing but it does feel that the knocking is more this end than the other so I am hoping that by transferring it over to the other side 
the problem goes that side as well just so it, again it does indicate the bearing and then um, yeah it's nothing sort of more major with the gearing actually on the motor mover itself but um, like I said I'll get this disengaged get this transferred across and uh, yeah we'll see what happens so right so yeah to get to it it is just three bolts that these ones And as you can see, it's just an end cap. So once these are out, this bit will come away. Obviously, just be careful you don't lose any of the bolts or washers. So there's the bearing and uh, that's what I just want to test out on the other side. Like I said, this this will come away if you pull it, but on the other side it's just got a groove in the here where the metal bit comes in from the actual motor mover which then drives this forward. So this is the only bearing that you'll have access to and fingers crossed this is the problem. So I'm just going to go across onto the other side now. Uh, and see if it uh, helps or doesn't. Righty yo, so that is the uh, two end caps replaced either side and spinning okay there. So let's engage the motor mover and see if the problem has transferred, which is hopefully yes. If it's still clicking, obviously it's a bit more drastic and I'm going to have to go back to the drawing board and actually have a look at the motor mover itself and see how I sort of take off one side. But um, yeah, let's try and move it and see if we still got the click. Damn it. Okay, so it's clearly not the bearing then. So, um, yes, I'll have to go back to the drawing board and take that side off uh, and see what's going on. That's a shame, but um, yeah, obviously a, a quick step just to try out and just see if it is the bearing itself, but clearly it's not in, in this case. So, um, yeah, we'll get it, we'll get the caravan hooked up and back to the house and um, yeah, we'll look at see what we can figure out for the next go. So uh, yeah, that's the caravan hooked up. Unfortunately, yeah, that, I was hoping that the uh, switching of the bearings might fix the problem or at least diagnose what the issue was. Um, clearly that's not the case, um, but obviously the first step in this diagnosis process. So. Um, yeah, obviously I'm going to have to find a, a sunny day and, and look to remove that whole motor mover and just see what's going on with that. But um, yeah, if you've come across this before, if you can leave a comment in the description below of what this might be, whether it's a gearing problem, if you've seen anything like this or any tips to sort of help me out, that'd be great. Um, if not, obviously, yeah, we'll just go at it, rip it out and um, see what's going on. But that's it for today's video. Just a short one and um, yeah, if you can uh, always like and subscribe, that'd be great. And I will see you all on the next one. Chisel.